Uh, one sec. Uh, today I want to talk about peer dependencies. Uh, let me blow my nose and put this away. So, uh, so I was looking at peer dependencies in package JSON for React Native. And I didn't understand what peer dependencies mean. And the node official documentation is like not helpful either. Uh, so I looked up YouTube, I looked up peer dependencies. Um, there were a couple of videos that kind of like briefly skimmed over it and they don't really do a good job explaining it. And so for the longest time, I thought I understood what it means until today I came across a really good GitHub issue and um, this guy explained it in a really well manner and I'm going to make this video and settle peer dependencies once and for all. So next time you look up peer dependencies, you find my video, you'll know what this thing means. Okay, so here we are at this issue uh, on yarn package issue 1503. And this guy called Hawkish on March, 20, uh, March 17, 2018. And he explained it very good, uh, very well. So for example, suppose you have a uh, top level package. So you have uh, React at 15. And then you have foo, some package, foo at 4. So then this package foo is the package that uh, you, the package that uh, you have. And then inside this package foo, you have a uh, React, but this React is a different version than your top level. So what's going to happen when you when you install this dependency foo is it's going to be okay. So uh, this main app is going to have React at 15 because that's what you set here. And then when it installs foo for version 4.0, it's going to go into foo, and then foo's no module is going to have React 16. And you would never know find out about this unless you actually go in and look at the tree. And this is not the problem of the package manager because it's not its responsibility to um, go into all its packages and check to verify that all the React versions needs to match. So how, how do we get around this problem? The way we get around it is we use uh, peer dependencies. So what we say is, uh, so what we say uh, is, for our dependency foo, same case as before, we have four point, uh, for our package four, uh, 4.0, foo is 4.0. And then inside foo, we're gonna say, oh, foo is gonna have, here I see a spelling mistake. Inside foo, we're gonna say, uh, your peer dependency has to be React 16. So we're gonna say that, uh, so foo is not gonna install React but foo is gonna require React to be at 16. So then when you do uh, install in this case, it's gonna fail because the packager now has a duty to tell you that uh, there is a incompatibility inversion, so the dependencies are not valid, uh, validated and then it, it came out false. So what we usually do with peer dependencies is we specify the peer dependency and then we specified that same package inside our dev dependency so that in uh, production, uh, this package is never installed. Instead, it just has a, a peer dependency requirement uh, requiring whoever that uses this package to have, uh, to have that package, in this case, React. So React is never installed in Foo, uh, but is required as a peer dependency. Uh, so in most of the times you would see peer dependency and dev dependencies work uh, head in hand. So usually if you see peer dependency, uh, you would also find that package in dev, uh, dev dependency, uh, but you would not find it in uh, dependencies. So hopefully that's helpful in explaining what peer dependency it, uh, does. Uh, and if you have any questions, I will try to make video responses to address them. Peace.